good evening and namaste uh, respected uh, uh, dean sir uh, all the scholars present here uh, today we are having a book talk series 4 and today we are having a, a sharing from our respected uh, dean sir uh, on uh, on the book uh, post -hu post human knowledge by uh, roji bredotti uh, who is a philosopher and a distinguished, distinguished professor. So it, it's, a, it's a remarkable issue. Uh, so post-humanist uh, thinking or post-human uh, movement, uh, so it is uh, a new intellectual movement. Uh, so humanism and, 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 and transhumanism, which is also called ultra-humanism, and beyond that, uh, there is a convergence of uh, post-anthropocentrism and post-humanism and and then I mean that that gives birth to the uh, post-human knowledge production uh, so th there are some ideas from even uh, Yuval Noah Harari who also talks about uh, evolutionary roots of uh, human beings uh, gradual uh, development and like uh, to the age of uh, religion capitalism as well as genetic engineering and there are several issues of uh, robotics and those technological developments uh, and, and there are ideas of Deleuze and Guattari even Gorgon talks about relational being and, and there are so many issues coming up I mean uh, so uh, this uh, talk uh, will be uh, thought provoking uh, our respected professor Dr. Balchandar Luitil sir is going to share on this uh, over to you, uh, sir. Uh, okay, so um, I just want to begin, uh, good, um, you know, uh, by saying, by acknowledging the fact that uh, the book is a very complex intellectual sort of um, portrayal of uh, ideas on uh, post-human condition, post-human knowledge. So. I must admit that I've read once and then I re started repeating. And once I started repeating, I, I sort of submerged into um, the ideas, even sentence by sentence. Um, so uh, this is something very powerful undertaking. And also a, a very um, sort of, at some stage, it's, a, it's somewhat a intellectual repetition, I would say, you know. So uh, I would uh, start uh, by asking all of you, I'll uh, share my PowerPoint presentation. And my presentation will be based on only three chapters, introduction, chapter one, and chapter two. Uh, so remaining chapters will be shared at some stage. Uh, but uh, these two chapters uh, have enough uh, kind of, uh, you know, sort of uh, depth of uh, our thinking so uh, depth in terms of thinking and in terms of perspective. So uh, I would like to start from there. So when I say, uh, when, when we say post-human condition or post-humanism, so what comes to your mind? What image uh, does this, uh, you know, the, the idea, the phraseology evokes? Um, what idea does it evoke? Or what kind of image? What's the bimbaans of the like? You might post your thought, post human uh, one, Also, we'll be bilingual. So there are several concepts which, which need the explanation time and again, and which need explanation in the language that we can make sense of. So um, uh, if you, I mean, this is my request. When we say post human, post -human condition or, or post humanism. So this is my I would like to uh, request all of you to post your thought. Um, okay. So, Esma Ali Kati, Aruko Kurakani, Kiel Kizaslak. So, what do you think of post human, post humanism, post human condition? Esma Say, Tamarko, K thought, K cost to image one, Emily, cost to bimba one. If you'd like to post here, that would be great. I brought okay, yes. Or Shati or Ruli. Okay. So 
यस प्लीज प्लीज किप पोस्टिंग साथी इसो एक छन को लगी तैं अलग टाइम दीदी होगा पोस्ट कर दिन हो सो ओके गुड थैंक यू Uh, when I finished reading this uh, this book and these two chapters, repeating the two, two chapters again, uh, I sort of uh, um, came up. Uh, you know, I, I I tend to think that we need to uh, sort of uh, change some of our assumptions about research and about our pedagogy as well. I think we are we have already embedded many of the aspects of posthuman. knowledge or post human condition but again we can make it more explicit i think that uh, is the take home message of uh, my reading um okay so let me begin uh, by saying that thank you very much for your um, sort of uh, posting sir or legornbo hai na so uh, you can continue to post your thoughts as i begin the presentation Uh, i would uh, rather call this not a presentation but a kind of discussion dialogue so let me start sharing okay being human all in sense humanity in complex situation artificial intelligence future of humanity said by ai and ml okay what is ml sir ml ko meaning tal lekh dinu bho bhane full form yes ai i i on this मेसिन मेसिन ओके एमएल ओके साइबर वन वो सर ले ओके साइबर वन वो ओके आई थिंक यस आह लेट्स लेट्स मशीन लर्निंग ओके मशीन लर्निंग थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ लेट लेट मी बिगिन एस आई सेड ओरलियर दिस इज रादर अ काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशन एंड आई वुड विथ ह्यूमिलिटी आई वुड से दैट माय रीडिंग you know i sort of think that reading cannot always be perfect so um the book uh, was published in 9, 2019 but roji bray dochi she writes a lot about uh, you know post human condition post human knowledge so and so forth this is a complex term any any terms any term you know that has uh, prefixed um, you know like post is is a complex in itself so let me uh, start with the nature of reading the my type my reading is not complete you know is not perfect is not a, is not something that um, refers to what authors have said might not refer to what authors have said i might not be mimic it's not an act of uh, you know mimicking it's an act of interpretation so any reading is an interpretive practice so this is a kind of tentative reading this is a kind of partial or this might be incomplete so when i start uh, this book i mean i sort of it uh, the first uh, you know when i start reading the book uh, this is uh, the this capture my imagination of what sounds post humanism as many of you said that it is driven by the image of cyborg or machine learning or internet of things and so on and so forth okay i thought oh, okay so this book is all about uh, the technological advancement or it's 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 the condition that we might be um, calling post human is it so when i read this section for example it is not all that uncommon for users of any kind of websites or digital services to be requested to prove their humanity on a daily basis the prompt usually reads something like before we subscribe you or i subscribe you whatever that is we need to confirm you are a human and it looks like this so how many of you have not encountered this situation i think you all we all have encountered this situation and we need to prove that we are human time and again and i'm we need to a form we need to tick the box that i am not a robot okay and and there are means as to how we can prove our humanity this is the time this is the time of anthropocene and uh, this is the time of uh, of uh, what you call you know the the time defined by cyber 
having to demonstrate one's humanity assumes as the central point of reference the algorithmic culture of computational networks, not the human. So it's not, uh, you, you cannot find human here sitting, checking our humanity. Rather, it is an algorithm that is a system of algorithm, rather, is checking us. Okay? The bits and, and the, in the steps are checking our humanity. And we are merely translated into the steps of algorithmic edifice or algorithmic structure. And this mundane example demonstrates that in contemporary society, the human has become a question mark. Who or what counts as human today? Because this is a question, this is not just a question of today. This is a question since the time we become conscious, we become aware of our existence. Probably from that time and onward, we are asking and we are redefining, we are reconfiguring uh, our uh, positionality as human, our uh, situatedness as human. So when we talk about the post-human context, then it's a, in, in the opening chapter, uh, it's a quite complex though. So what I, I would try to um, sort of make it a bit simple, the, although it's not that simplistic, but what we need to see human, uh, uh, human in post-human times, it is not just human, human together with non-human. Probably it's embedded or embodied. That's the term. These are the terms that are used quite uh, frequently in this book. Okay, so it's a combination of both human and non-human. You might have heard, if you have a science background, this bio and joy uh, metaphor. Okay, bio is a more, much more like human, human, a sovereign human, sovereign uh, anthropocene. Uh, sorry, anthro, anthro. Oh, uh, morphic sort of have our ex existence, anthropocentric our existence, which is very much sovereign, which is human, and non-human is human, which has not fully developed human, and, you know, other creatures, other, other beings, and non-beings as well. So then human is not just alone in post-human times. We need to discuss humanity, discuss humanity beyond Eurocentric conception of human, of becoming human. Okay, becoming uh, a rational man, quote unquote. So human in post modern in post human times are both human and non human attributes. So the concept of this, the very central concept of the book is convergence. Of course, there are many different ideas. Of course, there is divergence, divergence as, as well, but there is an idea of convergence. So two two constructs are coming together. One is post human, the other is post anthropocentrism. Okay. So uh, the post-human is the historical of arrival of our becoming because, you know, we have arrived uh, at the stage, what we call the sixth extinct is, you know, because of climate change and other many global crises, uh, several species are being um, extinct and, and probably we are also living in a fearful time and condition. And this is also the critique, post-human is a critique, uh, is, a, is an approach to critique of humanist ideal of man. I have used the, the word humanist in capital H, yes, and this refers to very, uh, uh, the, the, the construction of man in the image of Eurocentric enlightenment, which uh, takes us back to, you know, 16th, 17th century um, sort of construction of uh, a secular state and man within the uh, context of the state. And post-anthropocentrism uh, is the critique of the hierarchy of anthropocentric uh, or, uh, uh, or the exceptionalism of man, or man here is a generic term. Because we try to read dog in terms of the, our understanding, uh, in, in terms of our image as human being. We try to read the, the, the other uh, creatures, we try to understand other creatures in terms of our exceptionalism. We think that humans are the exceptional creature and they impose their, their uh, image of anything and everything onto others. Okay? And this self-other diver uh, self divergence has also, Im uh, imp uh, has also imposed on human beings in themselves, okay? in terms of their political right, uh, you, you know, political assertions in terms of their you know, positionality, in terms of maintaining their hierarchy. For example, the Europeans, once upon a time, the Europeans would consider Europe as home. 
and other parts as colony. So others would be subjects and the home people living in the home would be more more um, entitled people. Okay. So this this convergence here, when we uh, converge post-human and post-anthropocentrism, and we come to the discourse that one is the critique, and the, both are the critiques actually. Critiques are the the exceptionalism of of men over the planet. Okay, in terms of, but there are questions. When when we arrive at this stage, we are we have many questions in this context. In, in the context of Anthropocene, we have a lot of questions. First question, am I a robot? Because of technological advancement, we try to, we happen to compare ourselves with computing, computer, uh, and, and, and a lo lot of other metaphors that, that comes, that, that uh, you know, that um, uh, arise from, from computing industry, okay? So this computational thinking or computational being is it still is it still a, a question of fear? Am I a robot or am I a human? Second issue is that will I survive? This is another question, and this question is, I mean, you know, one of the phenomena why we ask this question is due to climate change and many other forms of global crisis. And the third question, third important questions of our that brings us out of uh, you know vulnerability to the 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 to the space is to this space is capitalism can i afford this okay so these are powerful questions yet this gives rise to the context of critiquing our positionality our situatedness is human if we look at the sp historical spatiality where are we right now the fourth industrial revolution and we work with data we work with in artificial intelligence, we talk about in technological redesign and technological advancement. Okay, technological redesign is very important term that we need to think about because we tend to design cities. We use smart cities, and we tend to design cities. We tend to design whole system of organization, and this is what is we call is the fourth industrial revolution. The sixth extinction, this is very, this occurs in a very soft form and uh, it's very dysto, it offers a dystopic vision, the sixth extinction. That is, um, uh, that is in the form of uh, extinction of many species, time and again, decade by decade, century by century, years by year. Okay. And then the question comes to our mind, is the post-human condition a dystopic vision? then we are, you know, moving into a dystopic vision. It is not that, you know, it is not a post-human condition has both. It has agency and it has uh, normativity as well. It's both. In terms of normativity, we are, of course, we are uh, facing these challenges and problems. In terms of agency, of course, we can have collective agency and we can act to correct these situations. So this, uh, this post-human knowledge has this potential to correct this, uh, you know, historical dystopic situation. So <clears throat> this kind of, uh, you know, we, when we enter this uh, predicament, then uh, we cannot simply think of one line of solution or one line of analysis, one line of linear sort of event. So <clears throat> at the core of our predicament, but not its sole cause, is the unprecedented degree of technological intervention we have reached and the intimacy we have developed with technological devices. And yet, the post-human condition cannot be reduced simply to an acute case of technological mediation. Of course, it is one of the many factors. This convergence with its distinctive combination of speedy transformations and persistent inequalities is planetary and multi-scalar Okay, so it is not just one, it is not just in one place, it is planetary, it is local as well, because these inequalities occur in many different scales. So it's multi-scalar and it affects social and environmental ecologies as well as individual psychic and shared emotional landscape. And therefore, it is not a linear event. It goes on multiple scales depending upon the situation, depending upon the factors. So this uh, kind of, uh, you know, these, these uh, 
mainly these two phenomena, if we talk about this fourth industrial revolution, many people explain this as a boon. This is not boon in itself. But it, it, we cannot say we can avoid it completely. We cannot avoid. And we cannot avoid this extinction as well. But how can we work with this context? Okay, so we need to understand this is this kind of predicament is not just um, the, the, the it, it is not happening by chance as well. One discourse is that, of course, there is technological intervention, so on and so forth. But the other thing is that it is largely because of our human induced activities. It is because of our unethical activities that is bringing um, this situation. Let's uh, then this is the context. And when we enter the post human condition, we need to understand human, uh, humanity, human, humanism, and civilization. Because if we look at uh, the historical uh, evolution of Eurocentric thinking, Eurocentrism, the central notion of Eurocentric thinking is human or man rather, and then civilization. Humanity and human, humanism. Um, emerged in the combination of these two. The first idea of man or human has been defined in many possible ways. And one, the centrality of that definition is reason. And humanity is also that reasonableness or, and plausibility of our ideas of our being and becoming. And humanism bring, you know, revolves around the idea of, of uh, Again, the rationality and also uh, being a good for human, doing good for human and making uh, everything at the center of human. Okay? And civilization is also defined by these, by these terms in terms of Eurocentric ideals. And Eurocentric ideals mainly uh, surround uh, um, in, in uh, you know, dualistic binary constructs as well, which uh, this book discusses very well. And the other thing is that, you know, if you look at the discourse of, uh, of uh, um, you know, humanism and humanity, largely capital H humanism, uh, that uh, has been defined. I mean, that uh, actually what is not is the idea of defining something. So uh, this is the nature of discourse that we need to understand if we look into the humanity. OK, uh, there is conventionally conventionally fell into discursive. Uh, there it conventionally fell into a discourse pattern of dualistic oppositions that define the human mostly by what it is not. Again, okay? so thus with Descartes, not an animal, not extended and inert matter, not a pre-programmed machine. That is the definition of human. the bin these binary opposites provided definitions by negation structured within a humanistic vision of man is the thinking being being par excellence so if you are not able to think if you are dumb then if you are not able to think in in that image of euro thinking eurocentric reasoning then he or she would be joy not bio okay so that kind of uh, that kind of oppositional logic uh, was used Whereas the oppositional logic is a constant, the actual content of these binary opposites is historically variable. Although, although what we need to see these binary opposites, they have shifted, they have changed, they have reinterpreted. But at the heart of the, at the core of discourse, they are considered to be the norm in defining what we mean by human. Thus, as John Mularki weakly, sorry, weakly observed, the animal provides an index of death for Derrida, an index for, of life, for Deleuze, and an index for dehumanization, for Agamben, uh, uh, for Agamben. But the effect of these variations is to reassert the central theme, namely the pivotal function of the human slash non-human non distinction within European philosophy. So how human are defined in within Eurocentric philosophy is by juxtaposing non-human, okay? By projecting human not uh, being uh, being non-human okay so from that context this idea of oppositional logic or the negative logic uh, negative binary logic has been used in defining so it's a avoidance this logic is called the logic of avoidance although the book doesn't mention here but this is called the logic of avoidance and this is called the the uh, 
Unme uh, logic of convenience. So then, so many binaries constructed. Now let, let's see how self is defined. If you le let's see Ubuntu or even let's see the relational ontology, then self is not independent of other. Home is independent of, is not independent of colon colony. Or if we see the uh, human, sorry, non-human, human is not independent of non-human. So in this way, uh, post-human condition recognizes the connectivity, the dialectical nature, not the binary, but the dialectical nature of self-other, home colony, human and non-human, as they put it. So if we look at the philosophical side, anthropocentrism is not just a thinking, it's a philosophy. So the central notion of, Euro, you know, anthropocentrism is Eurocentrism because it defines human um, beyond and above of everything and anything. That is what Eurocentrism. So this is how Eurocentrism, uh, 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 you know, develops or evolves. So even organization is lesser than human. So human is beyond in any entity, any society. That how individualism uh, develops there, okay, evolves there. The exceptional representation of man, this is also the, uh, you know, I mean, we might have studied and in many of our textbooks, school textbooks, we have written man says, or the rest of Pranio. This is exceptional representation of man. And the next is uh, capitalism and consumerism. And also some aspects of socialism that also focuses more on anthropocentrism. The early form of socialism, socialism also promoted the idea of anthropocentrism because it was touted to be the, the liberator of man, not animal, not any other creature, not the planet. So capitalism and consumerism are blamed to be the primary, uh, you know, foundation of anthropocentrism. But early social, social, social uh, thinking, socialist thinking was no less than that one. The mode was different. So when we let, let see the uh, over the period of time, especially in in uh, the in the human in the discourse in the disciplines of humanities, uh, the first uh, critique of humanism came uh, with uh, with a uh, a very uh, sophisticated critique uh, uh, through post-structuralism. But it, it never said that it challenged humanism in that way, in a way that the discourse are coming uh, to the fore. Next is Deleuze and Guattari, who brought this idea of materialism. They used this uh, uh, idea of materialism, but not in a sense that mat material is independent of human. Material is independent of our being and becoming. So it, this is called vital materialism. And the third is post-colonialism, challenge colonialism, but it also recognizes the fact that the colonial uh, colonial means and approaches are shifted towards more softer version. And the, these are the basis of, uh, early basis of the critique of humanism. Then when we see uh, in this context, then the question, comes to our mind. So then we shift from human to post-human condition. Like in, in the context of uh, humanism, if we say, if the time is called uh, in terms of the condition, humanistic condition is that where uh, all everything appears to be linear, everything appears to be, uh, you know, monolithic. It, it's not like that even human within humanism as well. There are different forms of humanism. And post-humanist -human, condition can be defined in terms of two approaches. One, learning non-linear, that it happens in many possible ways. Uh, it doesn't happen in a linear way. There are multiple uh, collusion and convergences, and the arrival is not so predictable, is not uh, so, so clear in a, in a linear path, one. Second is, it cannot just be understood by formal logics. It cannot just be understood by rational logics. Of course, we might need rationality, but different form of rationality. So we call it post-formal logic, or it might use multiple forms of not just, uh, you know, hypothetical deductive thinking, not just reasoning in a sense of humanity, in a sense of, you know, plausibility. The plausibility and rationality can be shifted to uh, at another sort of uh, space which might be defined by dreams by 
sort of, you know, nonlinear thinking, uh, abductive thinking, and so on and so forth. And this can be, uh, so this, one of the condition is multiplicity. There is not just one future. There is not just one present. There is not just one possibility. There are many possibility. There are many presents and there are many futures. And here, now we come to this uh, post-human uh, knowledge. The critique of anthropo anthropocentrism that is entailed in post-human knowledge is highly demanding for scholars in the humanities because it enacts a double shift. So these two, two shifts, let's see. The first shift, uh, it requires an understanding of ourselves as members of a species. It's not like we are separate from a species. We are separate from this ecosystem and not just of a culture or polity. Okay. So we are connected. Second, it demands accountability for the disastrous planetary consequences of our species of supremacy and violent rule of sovereign uh, anthropos. So sovereign anthropos are those, are us who, who decide about, who tend to think that we decide on others. Okay. So the first is the uh, that we are connected. We are part of the, the bigger system. We are simply one species. And we are not the entirety of the system. We are just connected. Second, so we need to be accountable because the disastrous planetary consequences, this climate change and other other disasters coming like war, famine, so on and so forth, is because of the uh, because of the violent rule of sovereign anthropos or violent rule of those. Let's say not politicians as such, but we all we tend to think that we are knowledgeable about this planet. We are knowledgeable about others. Then we we are doing symbolic and and non-symbolic form of violence. So we need to recognize this is this recognition of this is the beginning of understanding post-human knowledge. Most people with an education in the humanities and social sciences are neither accustomed nor trained to think in terms of species. This is what they blame the field of social science and humanities because let's reflect on our knowledge systems that we promote we tend to think that we know everything we know our sphere but we don't sort of reach out to the sphere that is beyond us when we talk about we uh, the author actually critiques both positionality universalism and relativism of course we have those qualities uh, being universal uh, of course, the planetary sort of uh, situation represents universalism uh, and, and relativism. We relate, we, we are in a particular time and space. But again, this time and space are immanent as well. They are connected. They have some intrinsic commonalities as well. Yet, there are differences. There are differences. So this we, is, you know, uh, we uh, positions itself, we as a, as, a, as, a, as a construct, I mean, we positions itself we can be positions in a, in a relational cosmos, in a relational sort of ontology. So that's uh, what they say. And this relationality actually uh, refers to one sort of line of thought is that nature cultures. Is it, it is not nature, it is not culture. It is nature cultures. The itinerary is as straightforward as it is breath breathtaking. The notion of human nature is re replaced by a nature cultures continuum. So if we read Haraway, I think this is a powerful idea there. So this idea of nature culture continuum, how we shift from being only, uh, you know, natural to being cultural. So how they, they, they both, comes, uh, both come together and both define our being and our, our moment. This is our uh, iter itinerary, is historical being, is our historicity defines um, as, as our historicity is defined by both nature and culture, the permutation of nature and culture. The idea of nature cultures bring to an end the categorical distinction between life as bias, the conscious human being, the prerogative of humans as distinct from joy, which refers to the life of animals and non-humans, as well as to de dehumanized humans, okay? meaning that they are conceived to be not fully developed. So this idea, this uh, this is uh, this is not just ontology. This is actually juntologies. We have a various forms of juntology where you might know zoology, which refers to you know uh, joys, largely joys. So we are part of that system as well. So as well as complex media technological interfaces. So we are talking about nature culture interface. We are talking about 
bios and uh, joey's uh, connection and we are talking about not ontologies but juntologies okay so our reality is shaped by uh, you know bios and juice and 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 people and creature and technological sort of uh, uh, of symbiosis will i'll come to that one as i continue so so where we is grounded so we is we kind of uh, passive combination of uh, 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 zoids and bios that's the question no we are not so there is action as well there are agency dimension as well the way to get started is by composing a we that is grounded accountable and active that we is active, we is not constant, we is not passive. This is the collective practice of affirmative politics, which can help us out of alteration of euphoria and despair, again, get, uh, getting elation and toxic negativity. In these post-human times, amidst technologically mediated social relations, the negative effects of economic globalization and the fast decaying environment in response to the paranoia and racist rhetoric of our post-truth political leaders such as Donald Trump, okay? How can we labor together to construct affirmative ethical and political practices? So this is the question and this is post-human action and action is a form of knowledge. So the other questions, so on and so forth, the answer is in the doing, in the praxis of composing we are people, not the people are people there might, might be many other people okay through alliances transversal connections is not like just vertical horizontal but transversal connection we might connect with uh, with other creatures other beings okay and engaging in difficult conversation on what troubles us in this respect our post human times with their large inhuman component uh, are all too human okay so too human meaning that we are focusing more on human and yet we are producing a large uh, component of you in humanity okay so the post-human action uh, would be used to uh, counteract this difficult time and difficult situation and they also talk about fatigues i mean the incompetence at the kind of uh, uh, the first one is theory, theory fatigues, because theories are incapable because they are very much too, too much of, they give examples of critical social theory and liberal, you know, sort of uh, um, theories as well, other theories as well. For example, in, in Europe, um, the book doesn't mention, but what prompts when I read this particular aspect, apart from critical social theory, uh, you know, they, are, they, they, they use the word human sciences for phenomenology and many other, other, other so-called empirical um, experiential sort of uh, representation of theory. So there is theory fatigue because theory is not capable of representing this complexity. And also this post work because uh, a sort of, we tend to think that technology is advancing and the capital, the advancement of capitalism has created a fatigue in, in the context of creativity and so on and so forth. The creativity is very much limited to market driven kind of uh, kind of solution. And democracy fatigues because democracy has been partly successful but largely unsuccessful in terms of capturing the deep ideas or deep inequalities, inequities and so on and so forth. So there is democracy fatigue. So, there are many fatigues, other fatigues as well, ideological fatigues as well. The book doesn't mention it as it, but in other sources, it, it, it has been discussed. So these are why the fatigue, the many forms of fatigues are there, because they are pretty much driven by anthropocentric explanation of the world, of the work, of the democracy, of the, of the reality, of the categories. So that's why the fatigue is there, because it is not capturing the imagination of the entirety of the species, entirety of the planet. So then we think of critical posthumanism, then the challenge that lies uh, ahead is multiple. Posthuman times call for and are sustained by posthuman subjects of knowledge constituted within them across a number of rather exhausting contradictions and paradoxes. Again, it is not easy because there are many um, sort of contradictions, even you know when we enter 
the business of post if it's a business then it, then there are many contradictions there are many uh, there are avoidance of definitions as well because when like postmodernists they don't like to be defined so many posthumanists they would also enter into paradoxes and they just simply live in there so uh, actually uh, social you know the one of the purpose of critical posthumanism is to produce new social imaginaries or new natural social ima imaginaries rather and new social relations that could be uh, you know more transdisciplinary and which can give a hope for future and challenges the asymmetrical power relation as well so this is chapter one and i took uh, 40 minutes um, almost 35 minutes i would say sorry about that so i would um, shall i pause here and uh, because you know uh, what do you, what do you suggest is I, I still have 20 more slides and and i might go quite a, quite along so shall i have a discussion for 20 minutes i think uh, that would be better sir thank you so much uh, our yeah. i just yes. i just finished chapter 1 this is so dense yes. so powerful ideas so yes uh, we can uh, we can have a discussion okay yes yeah. uh, thank you sir sorry ekdamai you euta jatil bishay pani ho ra aile ko jaldo baldo bishay ma sir le dherai prakash paridinu bha cha we are deeply grateful to our respected professor अगि सर ने भन्न ना जस्ते मानस सर्वश्रेष्ठ प्राणी हो हमी फिफ्थ सेंचुरी को एकजना फिलोसफर ने नहीं भाषा प्रोटैगोरस मैन इज द मेजर अफ अल थिंग्स यी यी कुछ यी सोच सायद ये एंथ्रोपोसेंट्रिजमस रिनेटेड होगा अब हम तो भाग बिमेंट जान पर्चे पोस्ट एंथ्रोपोसेंट्रिजम भो उत्तर मानव केन्द्रित बाद होगा अब पोस्ट ह्युमेनिजम उत्तर मानवतावाद अब यो जो पोस्ट ह्यूमन नलेज प्रोडक्शन के कुछ में सर ने धेरे प्र प्रकाश पारि अब हमी छलफल कर जैसे ये क्रिटिकल पोस्ट ह्युमेनिजम अब प्लानेटरी फ्यूचर्स के हो कसो हो अब हम यो जो नलेज वर्ल्ड हमी डिस्कोर्स कसरी अगड़ी बढ़ला यह सन्दर्भ में सहभागीजीवर बड़ आपको जिज्ञासा राखीद प्लिज अनुरोध करद सर ने यहाँ को जिज्ञासा समेटने प्रयास कर सब जानने मं हो मैं कहीं धारणा अब सर सर को सेयरिंग होता खेल जैसे मैं अब बुझे कुरो अब यह पोस्ट ह्यूमन कंडीसन में देर आर अब मल्टिप्लिटी कम्प्लेक्सिटी अब तो मल्टिप्लिटी सीटीज रिप्लेक्सिटीज अब ते में हमी एडजस्ट हो इम्रेस करते अगर बढ़ु पर्यटन भाई कुछ है सर हजर सर ने फिर दोहरिया अलग को जो जो एज में हम छो सर ये फुल अफ मल्टिप्लिटीज कम्प्लेक्सिटीज हजर अब इसमें जस्ते राइटर ने नहीं भाषा ये जस्ते यो एक प्रकार को सर्ट अफ ये जिगजैक वेज जिगजैक पाथ वेज छ अब इसमें अगड़ी बढ़ने कसरी सर क्यों अगड़ी बढ़ने आइडिया अफ अगड़ी बढ़ने वाक अब कछाड़ी नजाने अथवा व्हाट डू मीन बाई डिटेक्शन है इसलिए पोस्ट ह्यूमन कंडीसन को भादा खेल जी हमारा कंस्ट्रक्टर ती कंस्ट्रक्टर में क्वेश्चन करने हो क्या हमी जी हमी अब अगड़ी बढ़ने भाई लक्ष्य भाई चैप्टर ही है सब्जेक्ट के हो अब सेकेंड चैप्टर में सब्जेक्ट के होने कुरा आदि तब हमी एकेडेमिक वर्ल्ड में के सो मो जवाब अलि दिन सकु धे तो मिन सक मैं एट लगी रखे के हो भादा खेल इस टाइम एंड अगेन को बाइनरी अपोजिट छेन भाषा पेल कुरो यूरोसेंट्रिक फिलॉसफी को मुख्य चूरो कुरो आई भर्सेस अथवा भन न सेल्फ भर्सेस अदर है यूरोप भर्सेस आउटसाइड अथवा होम भर्सेस कोलोनी रैन भर्सेस अथवा बायो भर्सेस जोई है अब सुरू को डिस्कोर्स हमें हे आई भर्सेस अदर 
यो कुरा बड़ो यो वर्सेस बड़ो जून कुरा कंस्ट्रक्ट हो मेन वर्सेस अब क्यों एनिमल वाला आई ना तीसरी जून यो डिस्पोज़ शुरू हो यो नहीं प्रॉब्लमेटिक हो बंसा रहा मैं बस तो मैं मतलब निकाय कई दिन आगे आई देर ही मानते हैं मतलब ह्यूमनी मतलब मैं तो ह्यूमनिस्ट हूँ बंसन वहाँ ले वाला क्वेश्चन और नुस्ता बाहर ले यो ह्यूमनिज्म बने ह्यूमनिज्म इस डिफाइन्ड बाय रैशनलिटी ह जति खेर यो यो कंटेक्स्ट बुझ् पर्यो ह्युमनिज्म को चाहिँ उत्पत्ति कहाँ भयो भन्दा खेरि युरोपमा भयो कहिले अरु ठाउँमा नि भाछ फेरि जस्तो एबोरिजिनल ह्युमनिज्म भन्यो अथवा तपाईको अफ्रिकन ह्युमनिज्म होला अब यो जुन एशियन ह्युमनिज्म फरक छ त युरोसेंट्रिक ह्युमनिज्म को एउटा सेन्ट्रल नोसन चाहिँ के हो त भन्दा खेरि रिजनेबलनेस रैशनलिटी हैन तपाईको चाहिँ प्लाउजिबल प्लाउजिबिलिटी अनि ह्युमन अबव अल हो त्यो भनेको इन्डिभिजुअलिज्म तबाई को जैन तबाई को इंडिविजुअलिज्म बिना लिबर्टिनिज्म बिना जैन तबाई को यो के बंसा ह्यूमनिज्म फोस्टर गार्डो इना बन्ने नोशन हो तेरे को अर्थ क्यों होता है बंदा हेरी त्यो बने को जैन आ हमें ले दूसरी नोट आकर ये वाला सोवरियन एंथ्रोप बंसा सोवरियन मानसे बने बच्चे मां आप त्यो त्यो कंस्ट्रक्ट नहीं क्यों बंदा कह रही और कुछ है ही ना बनने कंस्ट्रक्ट वाला ह्यूमनिज्म जी तेजरी डेवलप आ डेवलप आ रत्तेल लाई पोस्ट ह्यूमनिज्म ले द वेरी फर्स्ट नोशन इज दैट टू क्रिटिक दैट वेरी सिचुएशन ऑफ द वेरी कंसेप्शन ऑफ ह्यूमन ह्यूमन कैन नॉट बी इंडिविजुअल ह्� इसलिए मैंने यहाँ बनना खोजा क्यों नहीं जो मानते हैं ह्यूमनिज्म बनी रहा है ऐसा इज्म लगाऊं सा जेम अपनी म मचे ह्यूमनिटी लाई प्रमोट कर सु बंसा दिस इज़ ऑलरेडी इन ह्यूमन इन इन नेचर उल्ले ह्यूमनिटी लाई प्रमोट कर सु बने कुछ इन ह्यूमन हो तो इसको आधा वेर क्यों वही ना बनी प माले तो दुई टेबल लाई यूज़ करें नेचर कॉल्सर बने ऐसा आई ना तब मैं को त्यो दुई टेबल लाई जोड़ता है रिज़े हमरो एक्जिस्टेंस की वही ना बने इंडिपेंडेंट वही ना इट इज़ इंटरडिपेंडेंट ऑफ़ कोर्स देर आर सम एमेनेंट फीचर्स इमेनेंट बने को इनोरेंट तब मैं अपनी मामा अपनी और क हमरो ह्यूमैनिटी हमी कोशिश नेवर सों हमी कोशिश संगे बातेगा सों हमरो और को हमी संगा को को एक्जिस्टिंग स्पीशीज के हो त्यो कुरा ले पनी हमें लाय डिफाइन कर सा ते तीन ही डिफाइन कर सा तो रत्यो पार्ट ला हमें ले इग्नोर करे को कारण ले यो क्लाइमेट क्लाइमेट चेंज क्लाइमेट क्राइसिस यो आको बन रहे सही यो � एकदम प्रकाश पार दे उन्होंने जा अब हमले जो इसाबले करता कह रही थी अब यो अब बरसर है ओके ना वी कैन टेक सम क्वेरीज सम पार्टिसिपेंट बरसर प्लेज है यस ओके आ साले यो पोस्ट ह्यूमन कंडीशन को प्रयाग कर देगा ता मैंने जो साइंस यो ये बोल ना हरारी को कह रहे हो मोर जीवस अब्रीफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ टुमरो वन after 50 years, we have a brief history of tomorrow. In 50 years, we have a human being. 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 Because of technological development, because of the development of machine learning and AI, there is possibility. So even in America, people are thinking about developing interface between human and the computer, where computer can control the human feelings and so human will be uh, like a non-human. Okay? There, there will be a mixture of human and non-human. And so they will be more intelligent being than that of humans. Superhuman concept. And that's why there is a the, the boundary between human and non-human will be blurred there. Um, we understand human uh, with the negation of non-human or the animals. Yes, what I'm saying, was saying the binary logic of Grazan Garasa. Cat is cat because it is not rat. One hell go. And it is very, this binary opposition, binary logic, impassima, 
फिर तो मिनींग लस्ट होने खाले तो कंसेप्ट होने तर दिस पोस्ट ह्यूमन कंडीसन क्रिटिक्स दैट पर्टिकुलर बाइनेरी एंड 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 इट बिगिन्स साइबोक को जो कंसेप्ट मैं अगर भाया थे साइबोक इज अल्सो अ बिंग वेयर देर इज मिस्चर अफ दिस ह्यूमन एंड नन ह्यूमन जस्ते बिकज अफ एक्सिडेन्ट पीपल लुज देयर लेग्स अर हैंड्स एंड दे पुट आर्टिफिशियल हैंड्स एंड लेग्स नाउ व्हाट डू वी कंसिडर देम आर द ह्यूमन्स आर नन ह्यूमन्स लेग पनि आर्टिफिशियल छ ह्यान्ड पनि आर्टिफिशियल छ अर यस्तो खालको चाहिँ यो कम्बिनेसन सो बाइनरी ब्लर भएको यो यो खालको हो एक्जिस्टेन्स हो अनि ठ्याक्कै त्यो आउँदाखेरि म चाहिँ नाउ वी युज टु डिफाइन अस वी युज टु हेभ इन्डिभिजुअलिटी वी आर ह्युमन वी आर रेसनल वी आर एट द सेन्टर एन्थ्रोपोसेन्ट्रिक कन्सेप्ट पहिला जुन युरोसेन्ट्रिक कन्सेप्टको जुन रेसनल ह्युमन एज रेसनल बिइङ भन्ने थियो अहिले आर चाहिँ technology is questioning us please uh, uh, prove whether you are human or not one jan condition aako cha te boundary blur bhako ho bhanne sense ma esari yo post human condition la define garna khoje ho mero understanding am i right the understanding uh, what you presented today so sir what ali the clarity chai maile chai abhi ne ra kura sir le sunu you will know hari ko aba khas gari yahan ek dui ra thama esma citation cha gari pachi lo दु तीनवटा कुरा जो सर ने कि भूव अब चाह हम तो हिस्टोरिकल मेकिंग में हम सद पोस्ट ह्यूमन हो भो कि को क्लेम हो भू को तात्पर्य के भादा खेल अफकोर्स हमें अलग ये भन न साइबर राम अर्गनिजम मिले साइब्रो को हमें गये बट यू आर अलवेज साइब्रो इन अ वे बिकज द नेचर अफ आवर माइंड इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द नेचर अफ आवर यू नो रिनेसनालिटी द नेचर अफ आवर बिइंग इज रिनेसनल अलवेज सो तो रिनेसनलिटी में हमी सद अक्नोलॉजी तेल मोर प्रमिनेंट बनाई भाई कुछ एवटा युवल नो हरारी को अलग बड़ी डिस्टोपिक भिजन छब यो जो यो किताब ने अलग बाई कर इट इज नट डिस्टोपिक होना तो पूरे कैटेस्ट्रोफी होने हमी पूरे टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट को लेवल में जाने तो क्वेश्चन से हमीस नवा को होर आर इश्यूज अफ टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंटरवेन्सन भाई गए टेक्नोलॉजिकल रिडिजाइन भाई जिस इसको क्वेश्चन छर के संगसंगे द अदर साइड इज दैट द डिस्कोर्स दैट यू नो द इम्बेडेड एंड इम्बॉडिड के भादा खेल एक तो हमी तब जो टेक्नोलॉजी हमी हमी इम्बेड कर सकता टेक्नोलॉजिकल एट सीस्टम से इम्बेडेड होगा तर मोर देन दैट वी हेव वी आर इम्बॉडिड इन द सीस्टम हमी अलरेडी तो सीस्टम में इम इम्बॉडिड छो स्पीसिज को सीस्टम में अलरेडी इम्बॉडिड छो क्योंकि हमी अक्सिजन लिंक हमी चाहबन डाइऑक्साइड छोड़ रुख ले लिखे गए अर्क हम वेस्ट बड़ अर्क क्रिएचर ने लाइफ तैं लाइफ फर्म कर सो देर आर मेनी फर्म अफ दिस इम्बॉडिमेंट विद इन द इको सीस्टम एंड एंड अल्सो इम्बे इम्बेडिंग इज अल्सो देयर तेल दुईट कुरा हेखे सर ने उठा पार्टली एवं कंडीसन हो योग खास करी पोस्ट ह्यूमन डिस्कोर्स में काम करने एक थरी एकदम ये डिस्कोर्स कसरी हे भाई टेक्नोलॉजी हो अब टेक्नोलॉजी सब नई हम री री डिजाइन कर हमी ह्यूमन लाई नहीं रिडिजाइन कर नट जस्ट सीटिज नट जस्ट कंट्रीज नट जस्ट अर्गनाइजेशन तो डिस्कोर्स हो इसमें पार्टली सत्यता है अब इवल न हरारी को एवं तो कैसेसम छब अलगोरिदम हो अंतिम अलगोरिदम में गए हम एंड होने आई थिंक इज बिकमिंग मोर एस्ट्रोलोजर इन दैट सेंस ओके में बड़ी भाई बड़ी एस्ट्रोलोजर भग मैं मैं पढ़ा तो पाँच कतिपय कुछ उनको ठीक है तर यहाँ अलग को डिस्कोर्स के वी नीड टू रिच आउट यो हूँ हम अस्कोर्स बाइनरी अपोजिटमें आधारित अलग को डिस्कोर्स मोरर मोरर लेस हमी चाहे होम एंड कोलोनीक कंसेप्ट अगि बढ़ा चौं अ को डिस्कोर्स मोर एंड मोर थिरी फटिगम क्योंकि जो थिरी हमें प्रयोग दे सीम्पली एक्सप्लेन आर लिमिटेड कंडीसन्स ओके बिइंग ह्यूमन हम एक्सपांडेड कंडीसन एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं तेरे गए हम जो अगर मैं कैपिटलिजम कंज्युमरिज्म को है जो आइडियोलॉजी फटिक क्योंकि दिज आइडियोलॉजी डू नट एक्सप्लेन द रियलिटी अफ आवर इवोल्यूशन है हम इवोल्यूशन एक्सप्लेन कहीं थे भाब द बुक सेज दैट इट हेज नेवर एक्सप्लेन है तेल तो एंगल बड़ हमें हेद्दे तब भरजी ने उठा एवं पार्ट एवं स्टोरी सत्य हो क्योंकि टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट हो तर टेक्नो बायो अर्को 
जोई भन्छ के अरे जोई टेक्नो बायो टेक्नो भनेपछि त्यो चाहिँ च्याप्टर 2 मा छ म त्यसमा पस्ने वाला थिए अहिले टाइम पुगेन त्यसले अलिकति डिस्टोपिक तिर गएको हो भारत सर त्यो युवल नो हरारीको चाहिँ हैन यस्तै हुन्छ भोलिपछि हामी खत्तमै हुन्छौ नि यो यो म्युचुअल इन्टरडिपेन्डेन्स इन द इकोसिस्टम को कुरालाई पनि यो पोस्ट ह्युमन कन्डिसनले डिफाइन गर्छ त्यसको मतलब वर्ष वर्ष Definitely. It's dialectical thinking you know tapaiko human non human kura lai kasari jodne bhanne aba esma aile pachadi tinora methodology ko kura pani garya cha jasto euta bhaneko feminist methodology jale challenge garcha haina existing status quo lai the becoming of man lai challenge garcha dosro post colonial theory or post colonial methodology or anti colonial methodology tesle the becoming of eurocentrism lai challenge garcha ani third bhaneko tesai ko ori pari janmeko aboriginal indigenous haina uh, Chinese, uh, given the cosmopolitan uh, uh, you indigenous methodology, saying Kuraga. So, given our Sahar border, I know Tula Tula Bosti border, saying two discourse, although they are not indigenous in many possible ways in, in their becoming, in their outlook, but the discourse is taking place. When it's an oligarchy, Salpul Gorna, shocking such a barim. Okay. Okay, so please uh, go ahead. Sir, may I shock you? May I correct any? We can still have fifteen minute discussion. Kino mane amro to yo saath baje ko meeting saari saath ma sorry sir. Aru kaj salpal aru ani le gaurun pani sir. Please go ahead. Kya sir? Kya sir le chhodne wo? Koi saathi aur le question aur le. Unna sir. Ah, unna sir sir aru aru saathi aur le kai. Question Gorno K. Pru Town on Savani. Binosar Tavani Raju Sresta, Binosar Indrasar, Kadra Kadra Sati Ruyanunza. Yeah, Peri Oru Kadra, I know when I die. I just said even the Himalila. Mati, only Buddha is a Buddha. A post human one ago, even Pasari Gurasa. Human Aru. अलगति बॉडी रैशनल भाई तब नहीं अब ये मनोरो अलगति बॉडी सही ने क्या बने नेचर र क्लाइमेट बात अ फायदा लूटना को लागी त्यो समा अन्य एक वाले को बने जस्तो अलगति बुझे रैशनल हो ना ही मात्रे ठीक है भाई बने को रेल यो डिस्कस ले बने ना इंतर रैशनल तो इन कॉस्ट को फेवर में बंदा केरी रैशनल रैशनल तो अब एवरी मन भी इज रैशनल बट टू व्हाट डायरेक्शन बने पनी होने से त्यो करा तो मेरे बनी आलोगों और कॉन्सेप्ट सके सोवरियन एंथ्रोप्स बनने सा यो सोवरियन एंथ्रोप्स एंथ्रोपोस बने को चाहिए जस्ले जो चाहिए आप उलाई शासन करना योग्य फिर शासन बने पॉलिटिशियन मात्रे बने आ गई ना वे आल्सो वे आर आल्सो सोवरियन एंथ्रोप्स ये यो अब यो बॉडी बना बॉडी चाहिए यूरो यूरोसेंट्रिक कॉन्सेप्शन बास्तमा के भन्छ अटोनोमस इन्डिभिजुअल भनेर जो व्यक्ति के भने व्यक्तिले आफ्नो इन्डिभिजुअलिटीलाई आफूलाई गभर्न गर्न सक्ने क्षमता हो हैन र आफूलाई मात्र हैन सरी अरुलाई पनि हो सोभरियन एन्थ्रोप्स हैन यो चाहिँ अलिकति नेगेटिभ सेन्समा प्रयोग गरिएको हो रैशनलिटी त्यहाँ प्रयोग भएको छ हैन त्यसैले मान्छेले नन मान्छेलाई तह लगाउनलाई प्रयोग हुने जुन तर्क छ जुन तर्कशास्त्र छ त्यो चाहिँ रैशनलिटी हो भन्ने पोस्ट ह्युमन uh, context or condition, man, see, you go So, when you like it, it's the lag. I'm the budget. I'm going to the budget. I'm on the 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 on 
अब अलग अन्यायपूर्ण काम ह्यूमन बाो भूला लेसबाट अभी य पोस्ट ह्यूमनिजम को चाहिए जन्म भग जो खाल एटा एटा अब देर देर कैन बी मेनी है जो जो ह्यूमन क्राइसिश अथवा जी भो ह्यूमन इंड्यूस्ड हो अथवा मं को कारण तर मंसोमशन के मान्यता भाई में हम जानू पर्च खास करी नेचर नेचर इज अ थिंग टू बी एक्सप्लोइेड बाई ह्यूमन भून भन न जुड़ा आयो क्रिस्टिन फिलोसफी ले ड्राइव गयो है जुड़ा आयो क्रिस्टिन फिलोसफी जल्ले जो जानवर के भादा खेल तो जानवर चाह मं का भगवान ने बनाई दिया मैं काटर खानु पर्च अथवा रुख रोपी तो लड़ा मैं बाल्न पर्च नेचर को नेचर जी तो भगवान ने मैं दिया भास में जुड़ाए क्रिस्टिन ट्रेडिशन को मेजर आसमशन चाहिए मेजर मान्यता थी रब हमी यूरो सेंट्रिजम अथवा यूरो सेंट्रिक रैशनलिटी अथवा इलाइटमेंट भाष फ्रेंच रिवोल्यूसन तेल रेप्रेजेंट कर आईपुग्खे के डिस्कोर्स कसरी चेंज भो भादा खेल मं सब भाई श्रेष्ठ अगड़ी भी भगवान को इमेज में मं क्रिएट कर जुड़ाए क्रिस्टिन ट्रेडिशन ने रेल ठैक्क के भगवान छेन तर मं सर्वश्रेष्ठ हो किसले मानी जे जे पाँच उसको भलाई को लगी कर अब अफकोर्स ते डिफ्रेंट फर्म्स अफ ह्यूमनिजम छे तर ह्यूमनिजम को सेंट्रल लू चाहिए के होता रैशनलिटी हो रिजनेबलनेस हो प्लजिबिलिटी होना तो अज पचे आर तो कौन फर्म में भाई तो भाई लजिको मैथमेटिकल थिंकिंग जल्द हम भो तब को ह्यूमनिजम को डिफाइनिंग नोसन चाहिए अथवा डिफाइनिंग क्यारेक्टर डिफाइनिंग एट्रिब्यूट इसलिए तिन्ला सोबरियन एंथ्रोपोस भो जो तो रैशनलिटी इंप्रेस गयो रो रैशनलिटी को आधार में अरुला अरुमा रूल कर सको अरु लेसर ह्यूमन अथवा जेओईएस जोइज भाई यूज करें है डारबिन ने यूज कर शब्द हो जिस फुल्ली इवल्व मंला बायोस भो रेस तब को उस जोइज भो तो लेसर डी ह्यूमनाइज ह्यूमन अथवा अरुला जल्द शासन कर सकने भाई तेल सोबर एंथ्रोपस भाई सो दिज आर द टर्म्स दैट दे हेव यूज इसलिए अब इसको मं के कारण तस्त हो तो भादा खेल उसका एसोमसन्स बिलिफ्स भैल्यूज ती भूज कह ड्रिवन भाई भादा खेल यो डिफ्रेंट है यूरो सेंट्रिक थिंकिंग में भग जो रैशनलिटी आयो अथवा हिस्टोरिकल जो जुड़ाए क्रिस्टिन ट्रेडिशन अथवा जुड़ाए क्रिस्टिन थिंकिंग आयो तेल मानेला तेरी सोचने बनायो है तो यूरो सेंट्रिक ह्यूमनी यो यूरो सेंट्रिक सोशल साइंस अब तब यदि पढ़ू भो यदि तब को मैक्स मान मान को पढ़ु मर्ल्यू पोन्टी को पढ़ु निच्छे को पढ़ु इन के वर्ड ह्यूमन साइंस ह्यूमन साइंस भे डोट टक अबाउट प्लानेटरी अथवा दे डोट टक अबाउट अदर साइंस दे टक अबाउट ह्यूमन साइंस मानी कसरी फील कर कसरी थिंक कसरी पर्सिव कर कसरी कंसिव कसरी मिनिंग मेकिंग करो पर्सपेक्टिव बड़ा ह्यूमन साइंस भाई बेग्ल विधा बनो जिस अम आधुनिक समय को ह्यूमनिटीज अथवा सोशल साइंस ये दुईटा लाइफ डिफाइन गए ये भोजन मैं जस्ते एटा कुरा अलग मनीहु भरत सर हाथ उठाने भार मैं अलग जिज्ञासा लगे अब जस्त जो मोडर्निजम सुरू भो तीख इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एकदम तो सर यूरो सेंट्रिजम भादा खेल में अलग जोड़न मन लगे मिले मिलते हैं है सर ने क्लियर कर दून होगा अब तो मैं पैला अब हम तो एमफिल पढ़ा खेल मोडर्निजम के बारे में गए थे वेस्टर्न मोडर्न वर्ल्ड भ्यूर को मोडर्निजम तो इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन जो होना था तैंदी नहीं वास्तव में यो यो एंगल बा जोड़न सक जो लगे मैं क्या कता लिटरेचर तस्त पढ़े जस्त अब कता कता पढ़ियो तो एक्जैक्टली ठा भेन तर इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन भी एटा हो जिस पोस्ट ह्यूमानिजम बिस्तार दिए भाई खाले मैं अलग बुझा ओके होगा सर अब अरत सर 
सर यो सर ले यो पोस्ट ह्यूमन ह्यूमनिज्म को पूरा कर दाहरी मासे अली कती यो ट्रांसमेटिव लर्निंग थेरी असर ले अली बड़ी तेज़ लाइसे अब त्यो डिस्कोर्स में अली बड़ी बिज़नेस बाग होता है तेज़ ले यो हाउ डू यू रिलेट दिस पोस्ट ह्यूमनिज्म वे ट्रांसमेटिव लर्निंग थेरी अब मेरे कई समय पहले � अब यो कंसेप्ट सांगल अलग ती रिलेट होनी होगी जस्तो पनी मलाई लागी होती है सर हाउ डू यू रिलेट दिस ठीक सर सर अब इसमें तो ही अब ट्रांसमिटिव लर्निंग का देरे ही वेरिएशन सं ये वाला वेरिएशन सं ही जो जैक मेजीरो को ये वाला ट्रेडिशन सं ही अब ये ले अलग बड़ी बनो ना अलग अलग बड़ी लॉजिकल � जिसे वार्गीज ले उनको लिखते सर देरी यूज़ कर रहे थे मिलर को मिलर ओसोला वन इनर को अच्छा मोर इकोलॉजिकल मोर क्या बंसा अलग बड़ी इनरू रिलिजन और वो बड़ा बनी प्रभावित बात हैं खास करी स्पिरिचुअल डाइमेंशन बड़ा जो संग मिल सा तारा ट्रांसमिटिव लर्निंग मां दरी मां सब पे फेरी चाहिए जस्ट तो क्रिटिकल बनो ऐडी अमेले पुरानो क्रिटिकल है रूम पुरानो अमेले सोशलिस्ट मार्क्सिस्ट है रूम बने बने त्यों बने ह्यूमनिस्ट हो क्या सर त्यों बने उल्ले बने किए का सर तब नगरी उल्ले बने ह्यूमन ecological dimension there is no place as such i mean this is a humanistic thinking of a machine thinking when you manage to know area i mean a free and area money oh yes there is something but it's still humanistic i know but to open up what's he about the bank or you uh okay sorry man was the audition if you know a recording by also a task are you also love on the hill era i look at the party you environmental uh consciousness like ecological consciousness like embrace learning or anything अब यो होने सकता है उन्हें अगर पोस्टेमन डायमेंशन तय होने सकता है मतलब आई हैव आई हैव एट टू कम टू दी कंक्लुजन है बस तब मैं खुद दे इसे रे इसे मैं अपने पढ़ दे थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर इंसाइटफुल थॉट आजू बिना सर रेज हैंड ओके बिना सर प्लीज ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू यो मैंने तो दो इटा चैप्टर मात्रा पढ़े एक छोटी यो यो इसको आज बाल सर के प्रेजेंट करने मैंने बस एक छोटी है रे तेरा I really found very very difficult idea था सही नहीं पति बुझ जाएगा नहीं every sentence में every तो मेरे को कोमा 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 कर आइडिया देखो सर तो इतनी देरे बहुत बुझ में गायब हो समय वो तो देरे पौष्य वाला गायब हो बुक पढ़ी जाता लगे बुझ में सारे नहीं डिफिकल्ट बुक रहा सर तो मैं ले अली सर सर दिया था मैं इधर कुछ बात करना बाल साले वाला सामने मौजूद क्या सर रखते हो मैं देखे को जिसको दूसरा पछिल्ला पछिल्ले चैप्टर में तेरे को करा पनी गौर ऐसा है ना मशीन लर्निंग उसको करा पनी गौर ऐसा है इधर भी मंडी सेकंड वन्दा उतार गया था इन्हें तो और को जैसे मलाई के लाख सब ने जोन सॉर्ट एडलिट पेटर एडलिट तब मेरे को टेल एडलिट ले ही गुजुन ग्लोबल क्राइसिस को लाइन लाइस सोमातेरा गोआको सा नोइंग बनने सा तिल्ले चाहिए रिसर्च एजेंसी समझ जोड़ता है कि मैं इलाय कैप्चर गॉड्स आकी बनी और अमला तिलागे को तो और को लाये को चाहिए मल्टी लेयर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी में हमले कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी को जति पनी डिफरेंट लेयर्स और मैं डिस्कशन से करता है कि मैं चाहिए कुल लेयर समझ ज्यादा है कि मैं चाहिए यो � सिंगल सोलो डोलो आइडियाज ऑफ उइ ह्यूमन बन्नी हूँ दही ना तो इसका जो डेरा डिफरेंट ह्यूमन बन्नी क्यों मतलब सारे इंटरेस्टिंग लाये को रहा वाले और को कुछ ऐसे जो ना आगे हमरे सारे उठाने बाहर करा अलिली ऐसे ट्रांसमिटिव लॉर्डिंग में पढ़े को हिसाब लेते हैं आगे दाल साले में नहीं बन्ने वो ये लाइक क्या आप तो रे गौर से ही गौर देना वाल सार को यो पढ़ाई रे लिखाई को आधार मार्च में मतलब तेरा तेरा सोचेगा के 
आफ्नो पनि त्यही व्यापार व्यवसाय भएको हुनाले पोड अन पोड यो स्टीम को ए ले चाहिँ यो पोस्ट ह्युमन को त्यहाँ सम्म ए ले क्याप्चर गर्छ कि गर्दैन अलि लिटचर ले भन्छ कि भन्दैन एउटा सर्क यसो मलाई जान्न लागेन अर्को चाहिँ हामी जुन इस्टर्न आइडियोलोजी मा जस्तो हामी त रुखलाई पूजा गर्ने हैन सूर्यलाई पूजा गर्ने नेचर लाई गॉड भन्ने ह्युमन इज अ स्मल एन्टिटी अफ नेचर भन्ने त्यो लेन्स ले हेर्दा खेरि मा यो इस्टर्न विजडम ट्रेडिसन ले त्यो शब्द नल्याए पनि त्यो चाहिँ पहिलेदेखि नै थियो कि सर हामीले त्यसलाई चाहिँ नेग्लेक्ट गरे हो कि के लाग्छ भन्ने म यसो सर को राय बुझ्न खोजे सर तपाई क्वेशन कति वडा छन् दुईटा हो दुईटा सर दुईटा दुईटा मेरो क्वेशन ओके एउटा ए र अर्को यो 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 इस्टर्न विजडम ले कतिको एलाई क्याप्चर गर्छ भन्ने अब एउटा चाहिँ स्ट्रीम को पोटेंशियल अब लिटरेचर हेर्दा अब ट्रान्समेटिव स्ट्रीम एजुकेशन मा काम गर्ने चाहिँ अहिले हेर्दा दुई चार वडा नेटवर्क छन् त्यो मध्ये हामी एउटा भन्ने र तपाईले भनेको जुन ए ले के रिप्रेजेन्ट गर्छ भन्दा खेरि अ अब हामीले चाहिँ यहाँ एउटा एउटा वर्ड छ के जुन्टोलोजिज भन्ने छ के जु जु बड ओ एन पी ओ एल जुन्टोलोजिज जुन्टोलोजिज है साथीहरु सबैले बुझ्ने बनाउन कतिको सक्यो जुन्टोलोजिज भन्या छ के जु यो यो के पढ्नु के बुझ्नु छ एउटा ओ बडी भई जु अन्टोलोजिज के भन्या होला त्यो भन्नु त प्राणी हो नि त जु भन्या त हैन जुलोजी भन्या त स्टडी अफ के हो भन्नु त हैन त्यहाँबाट हामीले ड्र गर्यौ भने अन्टोलोजिज मान्छेको चाहिँ अन्टोलोजिज भो अब यो पोस्ट ह्युमन कन्डिसन मा चाहिँ जु जुन्टोलोजिज भयो क्या हैन त्यसैले अब यो यो कुरालाई चाहिँ हामीले यो भनेको चाहिँ एनिमल को स्टडी हो नि त यो एनिमल को व्यवहार को स्टडी हो त्यसैले इट्स नॉट जस्ट अन्टोलोजी इट्स जु जु इन्टोलोजी हैन त्यसैले यो जुन छ यो त्यो पर्सपेक्टिभ बाट हामीले स्टीम मा यदि ए भन्ने मा चाहिँ हामीले त्यसलाई एक्सपैंड गर्यौ इभन एस लाई एक्सपैंड गर्यौ अ साइन्स चाहिँ के हो त यो कन्टेक्स्ट मा इज साइन्स द स्टडी अफ हैन बियोन्ड अस अथवा हामीलाई छोडेर हाम्रो बारेमा खासै धेरै पर्दैन हामी सेपरेट स्टडी गरौ अरुको बारेमा स्टडी गरौ भन्ने जुन खालको हाम्रो एटिट्यूड अप्रोच छ अथवा जस्तो हेल्थ मा हुनु डाक्टर हुनलाई एमबीबीएस डाक्टर हुनलाई मान्छेको मात्रै पढाउने तर जनावरको डाक्टर हुन हेर्नुस् त यहाँ कति तरिका जनावर छन् सबैको एकै ठाउँ पढाउँछन् जनावरको डाक्टर हैन त्यो पछि स्पेशलाइजेसन पनि गर्ला प्राक्टिसमा मैले भन्न खोजेको जुन हाम्रो बायस छ त्यो बायसलाई हाम्रो एजुकेशनले करेक्ट गर्ने भने स्टीम ह्याज दट पोटेंशियल ए ह्याज दट नट जस्ट ए बट अल्सो एस ह्याज दट पोटेंशियल टी पनि टेक्नोलोजी कस्तो बनाउने त हैन अहिले ह्युमन इमेजिनेसन लाई हामीले मात्रै क्याप्चर गर्यौ ह्युमन इमेजिन इमेजिनेसन को वरिपरि रह्यौ कि अब ई भनेको हामीले इन्जिनियरिङ भन्यो हैन त्यो पनि हामी बढी चाहिँ ह्युमन बायस छौ अब ए भनेको पनि हामीले चाहिँ ए ले चाहिँ त्यो डाइमेन्सन जुन छ त्यो डाइमेन्सन लाई अफेक्ट को डाइमेन्सन लाई यदि अनप्याक गर्ने भने प्रोबेब्ली दट क्यान कनेक्ट अब एम म्याथमेटिक्स एज आई सेड अर्लियर इट्स अल्सो द पिनाकल अफ रेशनालिटी पिनाकल अफ ह्युमनिटी हैन ह्युमनिज्म त्यतिखेर चाहिँ अब एलाई पनि हामीले कसरी गर्न सक्छौ भने त्यसैले इट ह्याज पोटेंशियल स्टीम ह्याज दट पोटेंशियल नन ह्युमन डाइमेन्सन ल्याउने पोटेंशियल छ दोस्रो तपाईले इस्टर्न विजडम भन्नुभयो अब डेफिनेटली त्यही भएर यहाँ सेकेन्ड थर्ड च्याप्टर फोर्थ च्याप्टर गजबको कुराकानी छ खास गरी यो अ एभोरिजिन भन्छ सायद यो मान्छे अस्ट्रेलियातिरको हो कि अथवा कतैको हो एभोरिजिन भनेको चाहिँ इन्डिजिनियस जुन पुरानो बासिन्दा भनिन्छ उनीहरुसँग भएको विजडम चाहिँ डेफिनेटली इट्स अ इट्स अ विजडम अफ को एक्जिस्टेन्स इट्स नट अ विजडम अफ हैन एक्जिस्टेन्स अफ ह्युमन्स अथवा के भन्छ त्यसको अपोजिट तपाईको सेल्फिश एक्जिस्टेन्सको कुरा होइन को एक्जिस्टेन्सको कुरा इस्टर्न विजडम बुद्धिज्म भन्नुहुन्छ ह्युमन क्यारे हिन्दुइज्म भन्नुहुन्छ सिखिज्म भन्नुहुन्छ तपाईको कन्फ्युसियनिज्म भन्नुहुन्छ अथवा धेरै जति एसियन ट्रेडिसन छन् ती सबै ट्रेडिसनमा के छ त भन्दाखेरि नेचरसँगको एकाकारमा मात्रै जिउने भन्ने छ हैन हामीले रुखलाई पूजा गर्ने जनावरलाई पूजा गर्ने जनावरलाई आफ्नो मान्ने हैन बादललाई आफ्नो मान्ने तपाईको चाहिँ सेन्टियन्ट नन सेन्टियन्ट बिङ सबैलाई आफ्नो मान्ने ढुङ्गालाई पनि मान्ने त्यसो त्यो त्यो दृष्टिकोणबाट हेर्दा चाहिँ इट फिट्स क्वाइट नाइसली दैट आवर जेनेरेसन आवर एनसेस्टर्स वेयर पोस्ट ह्युमन अलरेडी हैन त्यसैले गर्दाखेरि अब त्यो यदि हामीले स्पिरिचुअल त्यो कुरो चाहिँ उसमा पनि आउँछ ओ सोलोभन र मिलरको राइटिङमा पनि आउँछ कि हामी कसरी नन ह्युमन साइडलाई कसरी कनेक्ट गर्ने कसरी नन ह्युमन कन्टेक्स्टलाई चाहिँ ट्रान्समेटिभ लर्निङमा युज गर्ने भनेर मैले टू थाउजन्ड थ्री फोरमा उनीहरूको किताबमा अलिअलि पढाएको थिएँ सो आई क्यान सी द्याट पोटेन्सियल द्याट इट क्यान बी कनेक्टेड बोथ 
with Eastern wisdom tradition and it can be connected well with STEM education. And this can also be, you know, if we use ecological consciousness is the defining feature, is the foundational feature of transformative learning, definitely uh, STEAM and transformative learning can harness the potential of uh, post-human knowledge or post-human, post-humanism. My ontology is subjectivism, relativism. My absolutism is objective. So, what is the relationality? Multi scale relationality. So, what is the analytical frame? I have to say that I have to say that I जुन यो ऑन्टोलॉजिकल हाम्रो असम्पूर्ण छन् ती असम्पूर्ण छ आर मोर ह्युमनिस्टिक असम्पूर्ण छ हैन रिलेटिभिजम एब्सोल्युटिजम दिस आर मोर ह्युमनिस्टिक असम्पूर्ण छ सो पोस्ट ह्युमनिस्टिक स्पेसमा शिफ्ट गर्दाखेरि यी दुईटै असम्पूर्णले काम गर्दैन व्हिच गोज वेल विथ इस्टर्न विजडम ट्रेडिसन व्हिच गोज वेल विथ हाम्रो किरात धर्ममा पनि त्यो देखिन्छ थारुहरुले मान्नेमा पनि त्यो देखिन्छ शैवाइटहरुमा पनि त्यो देखिन्छ सो वी क्यान कनेक्ट विथ इस्टर्न विजडम ट्रेडिसन हजुर मैले अहिले यति भने Binoh sir, did I make some uh, sense? Yes sir, yeah, yeah, thank you. Sorry, when I have to use Australian rasa, sir, you author saying. You are Australian, Australian one, but you uh, are theorist rasa. Oh, okay. अरे उनले बने को जैसे तेज़ अब ऑफ़ कोर्स उनले जी प्रैक्टिस करे तेज़ नहीं हो पोस्ट कॉलोनियलिज्म रा फेमिनिज्म लाई उनले जैसे बड़ी बंदा बड़ी तेरा पट्टी बड़ी जोड़ करे ऐसा तो वहाँ ले बने जैसे ही द बुक इज़ वेरी इनेक्सेसिबल टू कॉमन रीडर्स एकदम गायरोस � तर जून कॉन्फिडेंस का साथ बनने पर नहीं तो लोकेशन ऑफ लिटरेचर ये नो पर नहीं उल्लेख रिफर करें को टेक्स्ट और रूप बनने पर नहीं इट्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट तो साझी लो साइन ना देर आर मेनी क्रॉस रेफरेंसेस ऑफ साइब्रोग अगेन हमरे साथ ही ले बनने को ऑफ यो डिलूज गुटारी को करो तेस्ते की पसी का राय पोस्ट कॉलोनियल लिटरेचर को करो तेस्ते की वाइटल मैटेरियलिज्म बने साथ इसको करो सो देर आर सो मेनी डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट्स व्हिच आई हैव यूज्ड सम ऑफ देम बट मेनी ऑफ अस माइट नॉट हैव यूज्ड माइट नॉट हैव बीन फैमिलियर विथ विथ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट्स हाईली हाईली इंटेलेक्चुअल हाईली ऑफ्शियर अली ऑफ्शियर बन सा सोजिलो बन चाहिए ना पढ़ना लाइक दार सा ऑफ्शियर सा भाषा सोजिलो सही ना कि भाषा वाले कि वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेट कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंसेस आरु बड़ी सं इस ते 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 ती बाने माइले हस अब अरु कैसा हाँ अब सही ना सर अब अली कि ती हमरो डिस्कोर्स लाइक असर ये ले पर्दर गाड़ी पड़ा हुआ सा बनने ने आज अपने पोस्ट मिनिस्ट्री थॉट प्रस्पेक्टिव वाला ये रियो अब ये ले अली कितनी कसरी की बुक लाज एक चुटी पढ़नी मैंने राल कितनी क्यूरोसिटी वाले डेवलप करा नेक्स्ट वीक हमरो बारह साल ले पच्चीसो सेक्शन आरो को के पार्ट में प्रेजेंट कर सकूंगा मध्य कुने ये वाला मैं फॉर्टर डिस्कशन को ताकि रिपोर्ट करें चेस सर थ्री थ्री मात्रे करें उनसा सर ये वाला चैप्टर बां बड़ी केंद्रित वाई उनसा कि ना वाने इट्स एज आई सेड इट्स वेरी डेंस वन ऑन पैक कर दे कर दे गाइस उनसा उनसा तो इसमें सो विल ही विल प्रेजेंट चैप्टर थ्री इन नेक्स्ट मीट न डिस्कस करते हैं और कंटिन्यू करते हैं बच्चों। सो उन सब सारे इतनी बंदे। सो लेट्स स्टॉप हियर फॉर टुडे। सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक एट सिक्स। थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू। ओके थैंक यू सर। थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ। थैंक यू सर। नमस्ते सर। नमस्ते सर। नमस्कार। थैंक यू सर। मैम सबे लाइक।